नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज एवोल्यूशन ऑफ लैंग्वेज Evolution of language is the gradual change in human language over time. No one knows for sure when language evolved, but fossil and genetic data suggest that humanity can be traced back to the time of Homo sapiens, which is 150,000 to 200,000 years ago. Since human all human have language therefore in order to determine that it is safe to trace it back to the same time period which is 150000 to 200000 years ago now in this area darwin has also proposed and claimed rather that language predominantly evolved by process of descent with modification from its ancestral languages just as biological species descend from their ancestral forms so you see said that the, there's a proper process that how it has been passed on from one generation to another from one uh, race to another one more civilization to another it involves the origin and divergence of languages and language families and can be considered analogous to biological evolution although it does not necessarily occur through the same mechanism so mechanism varies but with regard to the evolution that it has the families and it has some kind of uh, it can be seen as analogous to biological evolution that how the biological evolution took place in then the language evolution can also be looked at in a similar manner we have approaches to the origin of language according to some underlying assumption we have continuity theories and discontinuity theories now according to continuity theories it was built on the idea that language exhibits so much complexity that one cannot imagine it simply appearing from nothing in its final form therefore it must have evolved from earlier pre-linguistic system among our primate ancestors according to discontinuity theory now it takes the opposite approach which is that language as a unique trait which cannot be compared to anything found among non humans is something which must have appeared fairly suddenly during the course of human evolution now continuity theory actually leads talks about the continuous process whereas discontinuity talks about a very sudden and abrupt emergence during the course of human evolution some theories see language mostly as the innate faculty largely genetically encoded and other theories regard language as mainly cultural system which is learned through social interaction noam chomsky a prominent proponent of discontinuity theory he argues that a single chance mutation occurred in one individual in the order of 100000 years ago installing the language faculty a component of midbrain basically in perfect or near perfect form perfect or near perfect form that's what chomsky believes a majority of ling linguistic scholars as of right now hold continuity based theories but they vary in how they envision language development 
Among these who see language as mostly innate, some notably researchers are the ones, and among them is Steven Pinker. They avoid speculating about specific precursors in non-human primates, stressing simply that the language faculty must have evolved in the usual gradual way. Those who see language as socially learned tool of communication such as Michael Tomasello, they see it developing from the cognitively controlled aspects of primate communication these being mostly gestural as opposed to vocal. So the other has been area which talks about the fact that it has more to do with the gesture as opposed to vocal. Where vocal precursors are concerned, many continuity theories basically conceive language evolving from early human capacities for song. Now, transcending the continuity versus discontinuity divide, some scholars view the emergence of language as the consequence of some kind of social transformation. That by generating unprecedented level of public trust, liberated or genetic potentials for linguistic creativity which is a very important or dominant part of the evolution. Now objecting to the sudden mutation idea, these authors argue that even if a chance mutation were to install, a language organ is an evolving bipedal primate which is to do with the animals with two legs it would be adaptively useless under all known primate social conditions. A very specific social structure must have evolved before the language to make reliance on a singular word or words which evolutionary is the stable strategy. Now this is to do with the social aspect of the language evolution. To conclude, the human language is a phenomenon of gradual change over the period of time. Further in the process, it involved the origin of language and divergences of some language families.